the NFL on EA Sports. The matchup at quarterback is one we've seen play out many times during their days in the NFC South. It's Drew Brees going up against Matt Ryan. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week six matchup. It's the start of another week of NFL action, and that means it's Thursday night in the NFL here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Phil. Yeah, it, the excitement is building, Jim. And, you know, for the players, you sit around all day long waiting for the game to come. So it makes you edgy. It makes you emotional. And we always see great play because of that. Cooks the deep back for the opening kick. Matt Bosher ready to kick it away to start the game. Here we go, two rivals ready to square off. Spillers running this one out. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Breeze the quarterback, and so far on this season, accuracy has been a struggle at times. His completion percentage just a little over 50%. Things have worked out great for Drew Brees down here in New Orleans. You know, it's a good thing the San Diego Chargers didn't want him anymore because he got hooked up with Sean Payton and his career has just gone upwards ever since then. The Saints take it from the 23. Looking across the middle and incomplete pass that time as he threw it short. Here's a look at the Saints offense, middle of the road when it comes to passing yards on the season. Perhaps this week in practice they figured something out. The Saints take it from the 23. And Ingram's tackle right at the 28. Here's how the Falcons defense. This is a tenacious front seven that has done a great job against the run this season. Breeze lines up in the pistol. Third down and five. Benjamin Watson makes the grab. Well, for guard to tight end close, it, it, sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. Ingram lines up in the backfield. The run it with Mark Ingram. Godfrey's there to take him down. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Hooks is there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. What a nice catch by the receiver. Get past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. First down here after the completion. Halfway through this first quarter now. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Saints snap it at the 41. He's hit as he throws it. The Saints now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. The Falcons' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. It's caught by Cooks. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And Ingram is tackled down after a gain of two. 
Ingram's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short gain. Breeze lining up in the pistol. The Saints snap it at the 26. The pass down the field by Drew Brees. And that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. Mounting a serious drive. Third and eight. Charles has got it and on a pass that had some heat. Saints on their offensive play sheet. They don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll be true. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. The Saints still driving as the second quarter gets underway. And the second quarter is underway. Reed runs him down and gets the sack. Well, this is about as bad as it gets for a quarterback in a situation like this. You're near the goal line, and they give you a chance to throw the football, and you take a sack. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't want to be him in that film session tomorrow. Breeze in shotgun formation. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Should be an easy one here. It converts on the three. And they grab the upper hand thanks to that successful field goal. Nothing like getting that field goal attempt and then making it. That's when you like the kicker on your team. That away, big guy. Come through in these moments and get his three points. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Falcons now coming to the line. Been a closely contested game so far. The score is three to zero. Falcons snap it at the 31. Breaks the tackle. Tackle made by Bird that time. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down and ten. Freeman's got it on the handoff. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. And now as we head back to the field, we've got an offense trying to get some momentum going before the first half draws to a close. The Falcons take it from the 43. And now Ryan's going to take off. Roddy White on the receiving end. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Well, a couple things on that play. Of course, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on run and getting the completion. But how about the defense? Quit being greedy. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. Williams is able to read that play and make the hit. Well, you got to know the situation as a player. Even if the coaches didn't tell you this, you should know it. When you get a chance inside of two minutes to get out of bounds, you do it. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Throws the pass. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Well, there's no doubt what to do in a situation like this. You do not take a chance and, and put your team in a position where they have to make a big comeback in the second half. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Ryan from the gun. Knocked down as he fires it. Well, you down into the first half. You got fourth and long near midfield. This is a no-brainer. I think the coach, don't even think about it. Send that punting team in there. Punt the football and play field position. The Falcons not punting. Going to go for it on fourth down. The Saints lined up in the nickel. Falcons 
Eagles get a first down. The Falcons signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Only 34 yards to the end zone. The Saints go with the dime formation here on defense. The Falcons have it at the 34. Devontae Freeman with the reception. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. So far, wonderful execution to this drive. When you get a chance to get out of bounds, here the offensive player got the yardage, had a chance, gets out of the bounds, stops the clock. Good job by the offense. Now first and ten. And it's knocked down. It's tight down here in the red zone. So if you're a defender, read the quarterback. If you make a quick break on the football, hey, you get in position like this, and you can knock it down. Second down and ten. Has his man. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. That is play number 10 on this drive. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. Hawthorne's all over that offense and brings him down. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. Second and goal from the four. Falcon, Atlanta in the end zone. Touchdown. Phil, they have the lead now here late in the second thanks to that touchdown. And they should have it, in fact, when we go to the intermission. Oh, oh now you see in the future, huh? So you know those things. I'm just kidding, of course, Jim. Like to have a little fun with you every once in a while. But, hey, nice drive by the offense. That puts them in. A great frame of mind going into halftime here soon. Cooks is going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Saints are getting their offense geared up here. It's going to be interesting to see, Phil, how they react because I know there was a letdown the last time they had it. They kept the ball for a long time. They picked up a whole ton of yardage but ended up with only a field goal. So let's see how they'll react now. Jim, I think you're right. I think they were disappointed in the fact that they executed so many plays and ended up with a field goal. Let's see if they can come out and look for something a little more dynamic where they don't have to have those long drives, look for big plays instead. Neither offense able to pull away in a first half that saw two defenses matching each other step for step. Larry Ridley coming up next to break down this first half. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Saints have been solid in the secondary to this point. The Falcons have struggled now for two straight weeks in the passing department, and so it just hasn't been a big part of their offense. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Third down from inside the 50. Quick pass and completion is made here, and that connection will lead to a gain of 24 yards. Saints will stall out, though, and settle for a field goal. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Falcons take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn the football over. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Falcons will take the snap from the 30 by David Hawthorne. Freeman's tried to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The Falcons come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Ryan's on the move, and Freeman has the catch. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. Matt Ryan under center. Smith's going to take the handoff now. 
Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Saints' defense now is going to go nickel. Smith's going to secure the handoff. Smith's brought down after picking up six on this play. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. Third and five. Tammy's got the catch and the first. That's his first reception today. The Falcons really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. Ryan's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating. And I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. To this, The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Second down and eight. Ryan's running away from the pressure. Devontae Freeman with the reception. Defense is about discipline. And when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers a little overzealous. They get out of the rush lanes. The quarterback gets outside and makes the play. Smith's brought down after picking up only a yard. Smith's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second and goal from the five. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. And a comeback now is going to have to be a monumental one. That touchdown has them looking in pretty good shape. Yeah, they look like they're on good shape on the offensive side. But listen, no lead is safe in this league. So you've got to be alert. Be alert for trick plays and things that you haven't seen yet. The Saints getting set to return to kickoff. Spiller's going to test the coverage here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Saints talked things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Second and ten. Quick screen to Colston. Durant's there to take it down. The Saints offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. The final quarter begins with this snap. And he makes the catch. No, no the ball comes out. The ball is knocked out of his hands. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field nowhere to throw it and it just results in an incompletion the saints will take the snap from the 25 josh morgan makes the grab and morgan's met at the 37. when you pick up first downs against the defense they will get tired that time nice job by the offense getting the first down even though they're losing here in the game first and ten Colston's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. First down at the 27. And the catch is made by Colston. 
The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up and make the tackle. Good job that time. Second and four. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. First down. Pressure on every snap now. It's complete over to Brandon Cooks. Cooks is tackled down after a gain of seven. Second down. Late in the fourth quarter. Good job of hurrying up and getting on that football and trying to get the playoff. Don't use the timeout here. Good clock management. Snap that football. A huge third down play on the way. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Third and four. And incomplete. He was looking for Watson. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is good. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. They have been fighting an uphill battle, and they had to recover that onside kick. Well, it's a tough spot for Jim. We know that. You're going for the onside kick, and you're trying to recover it. I think your chances are about one out of ten, and that time it was not on their side. Handing the ball off hasn't been something that's worked for either one of these teams today, Phil. Well, what you have to show on the offensive side when you want to run the football, you've got to show some determination. And the guys on the offensive side just get tougher and make it work. Play after play after play here on this drive. Hey, let's go. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Freeman's taken down at the 33. The Saints will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Second and three after that last carry. Freeman's handed the football. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. The Saints will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. After that timeout by the defense, play is ready to resume. Falcons come out. Jumbo package on the field. Tackle down at the 22. The Saints stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. At the 22-yard line, here they come. First down at the 22. Once again, they'll run it. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Well, this is not a surprise, Jim. This is what you do. You run the football. You play the clock. This is called managing the game, and it's all up to the head coach getting this done. The Falcons are in a much closer game today, but still find themselves up on the scoreboard after a decisive victory last time out. When you practice in training camp and even during the week, of games in the NFL. You always practice that the game is going to be tight, it's going to be close, and now we've got to pull out those plays that are going to win the game for us. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Feeds him again. Play number six coming up on this drive. Goal line defense on the field. Second and goal to go from the one. He runs with it right up the gut. Well, that's just the right call to make. 
In this situation, just run the football. Don't try to be some genius who catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. The Falcons call a timeout and are left now with only one. Touchdown, just put the icing on the kick, Jim. Whatever you want to say, because now the lead's too big, not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. Makes the PAT. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. That's right. It's all about me, and it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes. But it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country. All your peers, they watch you. It just doesn't get better. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.